The idea for our Fusion Hybrid 1000 Mile Challenge actually came out of some of the great results we were getting it, during our early drive programs. So the question really came up, how far can we really go? And we just started talking and, and asked ourselves, well, do you think we can go a thousand? Results look like we'll be able to achieve that. And now the question is really, how far can we go? We were able to recruit five drivers to help us through the course of this challenge. Wayne Gertis is our hypermiling expert. We recruited Wayne to help us and to coach the team. You're maintaining exactly what we need to maintain, yet you're still maintaining a good pace. Gil Portolatin has been with us during uh, all of our launch programs and is really a critical member of bringing this vehicle to the market. I've always been kind of a closet environmentalist. My name is Steve Burke. I'm a fuel economy engineer for hybrid programs. I'm Tom Rolowitz and my job is as a hybrid calibration engineer for the Fusion Hybrid. We also recruited Sharif Markaby, our chief engineer for the hybrid programs. Just learning the techniques, and anybody can do what we're doing. The team rotates through every two hours and they change shifts. Using these driving techniques require them to actually concentrate very seriously while they're driving. So here we are. You saw where we, as we came around the top of that loop, and that's where we're going to actually to physically start the, uh, okay. the challenge. So up. make sure we're fully chopped off, tape up the yeah. fuel tank, do that, make sure we do that for the cameras, and we're kind of good to go basically. I think we're ready to go. Everybody cool. right. And there we go, there we go. So we're setting off on the thousand mile challenge. Here we are, it's a great moment. Washington, D.C., you know, this is not hypermiling friendly. It's not fuel economy friendly, and yet Fusion Hybrid is knocking out numbers. So I think that uh, Ford's got a hit on their hands with the Ford Fusion Hybrid. That was some intense driving. The traffic's heavy, but it's, it's rolling smooth. The temperatures are coming up, so this afternoon, those guys should do really, really well. For the very first stint out of the box, Wayne managed to get 88.4 miles per gallon. Uh, obviously, we didn't have an average at that stage. He did 43 miles on that first route. Wayne left me in a real good spot, and I said, okay, I, I, can, I can do this. And so I had to make sure I, would, I kept on uh, tweaking how I was driving in order to, to, keep the, to keep my mileage up. Oh, my God! Dude, hi! Congratulations. Gil, you kicked ass and came through. 87.6! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're confident we're going to do it, and it's a nice little uh, competition between us to see how far we can all go. But at the end of the day, it's about how the whole team is done, and it's about the thousand miles. It's not really about each of us. This is the third day, I think. Yeah, it's the third day. It's 6 a.m. It, it, it's not too bad from a mental perspective. It's just the heat was probably the most difficult factor yesterday. It's uh, Monday now, so it's the third day. We hit 980 miles, so we're 20 miles away from hitting that 1,000. In early November, uh, Carl Edwards got a chance to see the Fusion Hybrid uh, before we revealed it. When we had the opportunity to put together this challenge, we asked him if, uh, if he'd be interested, and he said, heck yeah. There's a couple reasons I want to do this. Number one, I believe in Ford Motor Company. I believe that they produce the best vehicles on the planet. Number two, this uh, Ford Fusion Hybrid, I think, is the the number one car in America. Carl raced at Talladega. He had a, a, a horrific crash right at the end of the race as he was going for the win. He turns it! No! No! Oh, and that oh. destroyed the front end. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Amazing news. I mean, the guy got out of the car. He, he ran across the, the finish line. That guy's uh, made, of, made of different stuff, I have to say. Ow, ow, ow. The finish line's right there. See how close he was? The fact that he was still willing to come here today after doing that tells you how important it was. Do you believe they gave me the keys to this thing? When I first got in the car, I knew it was going to be competitive when uh, Wayne Gertis, the hypermiling champion, he says, oh, I'm going to need you to take off your right shoe so you can feel the throttle pedal better. I thought, this is my kind of guy. See the loading up right-hand corner? 80. Uh, You're good. I believe it's everyone's duty to do the best they can to minimize their, their footprint on the environment. The message that Ford's sending out and that Wayne's able to uh, teach people is to be efficient. Here it comes! There it is! There it is! 1, 1, thousand miles! Woo! Really proud to be a part of it. I can't believe they let me drive the thousandth mile. One thousand miles right here. And we still got about a third of a tank of fuel left. 
Hey, that's very cool, guys. Good work. Great work. I think, you know, being the most fuel efficient mid sized sedan in the U.S., that's something that we've always been striving for. We put a lot of effort into being the best, and it's a really nice feeling to be able to say that we are. Done. When I got in the car, that it had already been below zero, zero miles to empty for over 100 miles. I didn't expect to go nearly as far as I did. If you can believe it, we doubled the range that it should have actually received per the EPA and per the, the tank capacity. So not only did we meet our expectations of 1,000 miles, but we also uh, smashed it. And in fact, uh, for a mid-size sedan of this uh, type, it's never been driven to this distance before anywhere in the world in any vehicle. The 2010 Ford Fusion Hybrid proved its work. And Again, great car. Thank you for it. Nice job.